Do you guys want a reflection on your car that looks just like this? Well, if you have a black car, it could possibly look like this. If you have any other color car, it might look a slightly different, but the reflection factor will be legit. Stay tuned, check it out. It's coming up here in just a few little seconds. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you guys are watching this. Before we even get started on the main point of this video, I just wanted to apologize. On my last video, I told you I would have a video up for you guys in one week. And that was not an exaggeration. I fully 100% expected to film that. Um, but after watching some last minute videos, just to make sure I knew what I was doing um, with, with this video, I realized that there was a, a certain product chemical that I did not get. That was the Adams Surface Prep which you're supposed to use this stuff anytime you're getting ready to do any kind of ceramic coating um, of any sort, whether it be spray or the kind that you apply with the little applicator pad. So I forgot to have, I did not have this material, this liquid. So I ordered it uh, over a week ago now, and it was supposed to be here this past Friday. Bugs everywhere. Um, it was supposed this past Friday, we ended up getting held up in West Virginia um, from FedEx. Uh, that's just the way things are right now. So I didn't, didn't get it until yesterday. Uh, today is Thursday, yesterday was Wednesday, so it's been two weeks since I uploaded my last video, and I very much apologize for that, but we are getting into it right now. I mentioned you guys in my last video that we are going to be doing stuff here with the um, Adams Graphene Ceramic Spray Coating, uh, and then of course this stuff I just mentioned. Uh, this stuff is very, very strong. You do not want to smell it. Um, it's flammable. You, you can be very careful when you use it. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. I am... Of course, not in a ventilated area. There's no windows or anything open in here. Um, I will see how it, it does stink really, really bad. So if it really, if I do really start to smell it and it gets Sorry, gets really bad, again? no Siri cannot. Um, if it gets really, really um, strong, I will open the ventilation. But what I want to do now is I want to have any dust that's in here right now settle because before I put this on, I want to make sure that everything. That nothing's gonna land on a car after I do the surface prep. So the surface prep, what this does is it gets off any wax, um, residues, any kind of blemishes uh, of any other kind of chemical that's on here that, that may have gotten smeared or um, after a clay bar or after a waxing. You wanna use this to get off any contaminants or remaining of those um, chemicals because if you don't, the ceramic coating won't stick to it very well and you want your ceramic coating to stick to the actual uh, clear coat of your car. This way it's a nice bond. And if you do this correctly, this particular kind here should last two to three years. Um, this is not anything as close as being as good as the ceramic coating that you apply with the applicator. That's good for like eight years, but this is the easiest thing to apply, um, but it doesn't last as long. But it's the same ingredients, just a lot less um, potent as, as, as I could say. Um, when I made my last video, I did go ahead and do a section with my Jetta with this because I want to make sure it worked well and I want to show you guys what it does. I'm not going to show you that full video because I'm going to show you guys how to with this, but I will show you real quick what it's supposed to do after you apply this. You can actually see the outline there, which is a little bit of moisture around the rectangle. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and just, just to get rid of that, kind of go like this. I'm gonna do the whole hood here once I get this section done. That part of there is still drying, that's why it looks like that. But let's go ahead and put some water on there and see how she looks. All right, moment of truth. Oh, look at that, guys. That's impressive right there. The whole entire hood is wet, except for that rectangle where I just cleaned. And this is hitting it pretty hard too. This is a, a full um, shower setting. And as you can see, completely gone. And that's even, uh, we turn this on jet mode, which is like a, <laughs> a real heavy rain. Still completely there, that's awesome. So as you guys saw, it's, it's pretty epic. Uh, it's, it's been on there now for two weeks. And when this video is over, I'm gonna actually go out and um, uh, spray water on it and see if it's how it's holding up. And it's only been two weeks. Um, I did not prep 
the Jetta first. I did not have this material back then. I just did a, a very small section, taped it off so I could see what, what it would do. So if it, if, it, if it has faded, I would not be a bit surprised because there's no, I didn't clay it, I didn't service prep it, anything. But I will show you what it's supposed to do on your car um, after you apply it. And the other thing is um, graphene has really took the market by storm, if you want to say it that way. Um, this stuff is really, 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 really awesome. Um, what it does is it protects your, your, protects your car, um, but it makes it so much easier to clean once you're done. Because when you're, clean, when you're cleaning your car with that stuff applied, it's like you're wiping off glass. It kind of, stuff just comes off the paint so much easier. So that's basically the point of it. But the nice thing about the spray is you can spray it anywhere. You can spray it on your wheels. You can spray it in here and then use your applicator pad to, um, to uh, uh, smear it around. You can put it on your, your plastic here. Um, so the, the actual ceramic coating that you get with the applicator, you can't really do that with. It's, it's a, lot, a lot easier to do with this. So we're gonna get right into it. Um, first time ever doing this, so bear with me. But I'm really, really excited to see how it makes the car look because I got a lot of really good compliments um, on my last video about how good the car looked. Um, I, I have to say so for myself, I do think it looks pretty darn good. Um, I'm very happy with it. Um, it. This is just washed and dried. I did not do anything else with it. Um, but I'm going to use the surface prep now to get that to get that any residue that's on the car off. So just so you guys know, I'm going to be using uh, one of their blue microfiber towels. This is kind of like an all-purpose towel for paint. Don't you don't want to use it on your wheels and stuff? It'll go all dirty. And then of course the Adams surface prep. So you, basically, you just want to spray this on at, on your entire car. Uh, just spray it on and then just wipe it off until it until it dries. Stuff smells like grapes. It smells delicious. They said basically just hold this in, in, in two like this and just kind of go over your car like this. Just this is just cleaning the surface, getting it ready to uh, ceramic coat. And I think I may have put a little bit too much on, honestly. I didn't need to put on that much, but well, it's actually drying pretty nice. So I think that's good. <coughs> Excuse me. You want to make sure you get it all off because you don't want to put any discriminant coating on a wet surface. You want it to be directly sprayed onto or applied onto your clear coat, like I said a little bit ago. All right, so that is how you do that part. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the car. Uh, you don't need to film that part, but I'm gonna do the whole entire car, all the painted surfaces, and any plastic surfaces you wanna do. I'm not gonna do my plastic. I don't have very much plastic on here. As you guys know, it's basically all fiberglass, as Corvettes always are. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of the car here, and then I'll be back on the camera here once I get that part done. One thing I forgot to mention, I already did it, but I wanted to let you guys know for sure, do not forget to do your windows. Your glass. Um, I do not do my side windows because my side windows are never up, so I'm not even gonna do them. Um, I did do the back window completely, not on the inside, but the outside, and the windshield completely as well. So make sure you do your glass. It makes glass cleaning a ton easier. I actually did my glass whenever I did my Jetta, and I've always used the Rain-X um, windshield washer fluid, and it does a pretty good job, but I've been in a couple rainstorms since I put the, the ceramic coating on my windshield on the Jetta, and you do not need wiper blades at all. Now, if you're doing 30 miles an hour, you do because you're not going fast enough. But if you're like doing 50 or more like on a highway, it, it's, it's incredible. Water just hits it and bing, flies right off. So it's pretty cool. Now we're gonna get into the actual application of this. I did go around, I did the entire car, cleaned as best I could. Um, I, I don't see any wet marks anywhere. I think we are ready to apply. Uh, again, uh, do the, make sure you get your glass really, really good. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys here now how to go about applying this material. I am going to put links down below um, to Adam's site and to each cleaner 
so you can get your own. They do have an updated version of this now. It's actually called Graphene Ceramic Spray Coating Advanced, which is a little better than this. Um, it has a little bit more ceramic in it, um, but this is what I bought uh, a year ago, so that's what I, that's what I have. Um, so I'm gonna do one final walk around, make sure I don't see any smears, and then we'll get into the application of this process. All right, so you're gonna want one of these microfiber sponge things that they um, sell, and then also one of the borderless utility towels. Um, I'm gonna, ha I have two for this project. I have, um, I have some more I could use if I needed to. I think two's gonna be enough. And then of course your spray with the, the nozzle. So you don't want to do the entire car. Like you want to do a section and then wipe that section down. Now they did say that the hotter and the more humid um, the atmosphere is, the quicker it's going to um, be ready to wipe, wipe off. Um, I'll tell you right now, it's very, very hot in here. It is, it's 84 degrees in here, but it is extremely humid today. I'm, I am soaked just from walking around my car. Um, so it's probably gonna haze up pretty quick. Once you spray this on this and then wipe it on, it's gonna have like a rainbow effect. You're gonna see little swirls of like rainbow colors. Once that rainbow starts to fade away, that's whenever you wanna start wiping this off. And then you can let it on too long. And if you do, um, there's a way to get that off. Um, there's, there's videos tell you how to do that. You actually just respray this, make it wet and wipe it off right away. Um, but hopefully it doesn't happen for us. But I'm just going to do like this section of the hood first and then see, see how we go. But basically you wanna just get this and put like six or seven squirts right into the applicator. I'll show you guys here what I mean. So basically just like one, if I can get this thing turned on correctly. Like this, it's so basically like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that'll actually last you uh, to do quite a bit of car, a lot more than you're probably expecting. So you wanna start here, well, and anywhere you want, and you just do stripes like this. Now, a little bit goes a long way too, people. It's, it'll, uh, it'll actually go, and also I forgot to mention, you can also do your wheels and you can also cover carbon fiber. So any of you guys that have carbon fiber on your cars, um, feel free to completely coat that. And any um, PP, PPF, the um, clear coating you guys have, I think it's called PPF, uh, make sure you um, coat that as well. And then you can also go this way. You're supposed to do like they call it hash marks. And I can really see the rainbow effect already taking place very strongly, so I know it's going to not take long for this to need wiped off. I'll set this up here and show you guys what, what it looks like. I don't fall first. So here you guys can see the rainbow effect. You can see all the different colors. So that's what you're looking for. And Okay, maybe it's starting to, to a fade here, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. So you just fold this in fours like it the last time and kind of grip this. Grip this and just kind of pull. At first you might feel it um, pull a little bit. Um, that's perfectly normal. It's just because the, the graphene coating is, is um, still damp. But as you do this, you'll notice your paint start to feel a lot slicker. Um, like real slippy, which is what you want. You want that ceramic coating to to make your paint very, very slick. You want to make sure you get it all off too. You don't want to, you don't want to find that you have high spots later on because that they'll really stick out. So make sure you go over it enough times to make sure you got it all off. It's, it, don't, don't feel like you're wiping too much. You can't wipe too much because it's, it's a ceramic coating, so it's not going to do that. And there you have it, that's, that's the first section of the paint done. We'll see here, you probably won't be able to see it too much until I take, take it outside. Um, but you can see here all the coating is off. And uh, I can definitely tell that it looked really, I mean, that it, sorry, that it felt really slick. So I'm gonna move right here to the second part of the car and do that again. Um, I'm not gonna film the whole car because obviously once you know the, the steps, that's basically all you need. I'm doing my hood first because the hood is the biggest part of my car. 
And what I care the most about is for his scratches. So I'll make sure it looks really, really good. Um, so I'm doing the hood first and everything else will come last. It's amazing how far this stuff does go though. I spray on there just one time. It's pretty incredible. I will say, I'll be honest, anytime it comes to polishing my car in any way, I'm always kind of scared because it's black. And I know you, that it sticks out, and any, any blemish will stick out. But I watched a lot of videos on how to do this, and it was really kind of dummy proof. Like, you really can't mess up unless you let it on your paint too long. But as long as you do small sections, I really don't see how that would be a possibility. So I'm not, I'm not worried about it at all. But here you guys can see the rainbow drastically from this side. I don't know how well you're going to see it in camera here, but you can really see the rainbow effect here. Pretty cool. And I'm going to use a different side of the towel now. So uh, this is the side I had before. Yeah, yeah, this right here that I had before. I'm going to use a brand new side to do this section now. Once the rainbow starts to fade away. And they said to make sure you're not doing like small swirls like this. You don't want to do that. You want to make nice long passes. I forget the terminology they use, but you don't want to make little, little tiny swirls because it does something to the chemical that you don't want to have happen. So you just want to take nice long passes. There we go. Rainbow's starting to fade. Start wiping off. Well, my, the reflection in this, guys, is incredible. All right. That about does it for that. So like I said, I'm not gonna show you guys me do the whole entire car because that would make it for a long video, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole car now including the mirrors and also the wheels. Uh, I forgot to mention, you wanna make sure you get your sponge and you can do your wheels, you know, just take it over the wheels. Once it hazes, then just wipe it off and it'll make the wheels a lot easier to clean, especially when you get brake dust on them. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the car here. Wish me good luck. I'm hot, but it's all good. All right guys, the car is done, with the paint's done. I'm doing the wheels now. I just put the coating on. It's starting to rainbow a little bit. I don't know how well you guys wanna see it in the camera here, but it is rainbowing. Just put it on like 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 I did your car. Just kind of put it in everywhere you can with a little sponge. When it dries, you wipe it off. You're good to go. The next time you clean your brake powder off, your brake dust, I'm sorry, it's gonna be so much easier. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. I did the entire car, did the mirrors, did the glass, did the wheels. Uh, everything is done. Of course, when you're inside here, it's really hard to see you know how good it actually looks. So I'm gonna back her outside, and we're gonna get a first. A uh, glance at what this car looks like now that it's been ceramic coated. I'm really excited to see it in the sunlight It is uh, 20 minutes till 8 so the sun's going down a little bit So we won't have direct sunlight, but that's also a lot better for the mirror reflections in my opinion uh, So let's get this car outside and see how good she looks ladies and gentlemen how uh how good do you think she looks i'm uh, pretty impressed if i gotta say so uh man this car sounds so good sorry i'm bragging here a little bit but i just love it but anyways i don't see any spots i miss which is great um it's very easy to miss spots one thing i did want to mention to you guys too is i noticed 
and if you polish cars at all in the past you already know this i'm just going to tell you just in case you're a beginner like if you're here and you're like polishing this way don't just look at it and say yeah it looks good also always go to the other side and look at it from a different direction because i'm guaranteed you'll probably find a spot you missed i did that a few times and i just want to make sure you guys are aware of that but my gosh does this ever look good oh yeah so what do you guys think you oh you know what i just realized i forgot to do the front bumper here i will have to do that here quick there we go now we got her all shined up on the front top i didn't do this surface right here i did the hood i didn't do this i got her all done now she's looking good oh my goodness does that ever look good guys i'm really excited to uh use my wireless wash on this next time that I use usually after I make go for a drive I usually touch it with some wireless wash to get any kind of dust off from driving on the road so I'm excited to see how good it comes off I and mean, it always did come off nice but it'll be really interesting to see how it comes off now that it's got uh, that ceramic coating on it let me know what you guys think um, this is absolutely lovely I absolutely love it I can't think of another word for this I'm just I'm stoked absolutely stoked Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it useful. Um, graphene, um, ceramic stuff, and there's, there's also graphene, like wheel cleaner, graphene wax. There's all kinds of graphene stuff out there. Graphene is really, really, really popular right now. It's got properties in it that nothing else does, which is why it's doing so well. Um, but I hope you guys found this informative. Um, Adams Polishes is my favorite company. Uh, I buy all my car products from him and uh, never had anything I didn't like. However, um, doesn't mean you have to get it. I'm just stating my opinion. But if you are interested, the description in below is going to have the website in there. He has a slew of stuff on there, um, even home stuff um, uh, for carpets and stuff like that for inside your home. Uh, all kinds of power washers, vacuums, blowers, all kinds of stuff. Go check it out. Um, Adam's a great guy. I've met him and I've talked to him many, many times. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. If you guys did not like this video, please give it a thumbs up anyways. Please subscribe. It helps me a lot. Hit the notification bell. Take care now. See you later. Bye. One last thing. Uh, I mentioned in my last video that in two videos I was going to be doing something um, pretty awesome and significant to the car. Uh, that was not um, lying. Um, that is coming hopefully in the next two weeks. Um, I still have to get one thing I need for that because right now it's hard to find on the shelves. Imagine that. Um, but I'm doing something to the car that is going to change the looks a lot. It's not color. I've mentioned it before. It has something to do with possibly the rubber that's touching the ground. But that's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. You're not getting anything else out of me. But stay tuned to the next video. I am extremely excited about this one. Um, it will be done before the Corvettes of Carlisle Car Show. So if you're going to be at the car show and see my car or see me, feel free to check it out. I'm going to be super stoked. You'll see that in the next video. So please stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. All right, so here is that spot. This is two weeks later and I've been in several rainstorms since and it's been very, very hot. So let's see what this mark still looks the same. Oh, you know what? I just realized that <laughs> I actually did the entire hood just recently, so scratch that but as you can see the entire hood though runs off pretty darn good look at that just runs off in in little sheets of oh yeah look at that like let's compare that to the side if you spray it like all this see how it's just kind of like like all one big stream it looks totally different it's like one big sheet of water running down there yeah but if you do this as you can see it just runs right off so it definitely works very well. And like I said, this was untreated. I didn't even treat it before I put the ceramic coating on. So this is, who knows what was uh, underneath the ceramic coating where I was applying.